Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode three of Make a Bag Detox. I had a rough night. My baby was up every few hours, so I thought it was a perfect day to put some CC creams to the test, because if I have color correcting, it's gonna be today. I have the IT Cosmetics CC Cream that I really, really like. I'm putting it up the Physician's Formula CC Cream from their Organic Wear line. I'm going to put the IT Cosmetics on this side of my face. I'm going to put the other one on this side of my face. So, here we go. CC cream is a little bit lighter. This is the color light that I was using. They're both the color called light. So this one is a little bit darker. It does give me a little bit of a tannish look that I like because that doesn't come naturally to my skin. But this is like a perfect match to my actual skin color. I feel a little bit like I have makeup on my face. Like foundation on my face, which I'm not like totally excited about that feeling. They gave me a good amount of coverage. They didn't cover the blemishes, but I didn't expect them to. Over the next couple days, I definitely want to at least once try it with a dampened um, Real Techniques, I think it's called their Miracle Complexion Sponge. This bad boy right here. I think this will give it a great finish. So, see you soon with an update how it's going. Quick update. This side with the Physician's Formula is looking not so great. I can see, well first of all, my oily skin is coming through. I kind of expect that for most things, but it's on, it's this, pretty much the same on both of them. It's starting to separate on the surface of my skin so I can see the makeup. It doesn't look like... This side, this side looks a lot nicer, you can't see any separation or anything. So I'm already going to need to powder, so I'm going to do that really quick. I'm used to having to powder my oily skin, but in my dreams I've, I'll find a product where I don't have to. So, see you in a few hours. <laughs> Last check-in for the day. The IT Cosmetics definitely held up better on my skin. Physician's Formula there was the separation of the product on my skin and it just kind of didn't go so well. I could only tell when I really, really looked close in a mirror. Either way, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream did better. So that's my last check-in for the day. I am going back to watch The Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Shh. It clings to any imperfections in the texture of my skin and the separation as the day goes on, it just looks bad. I also think it did a great job getting rid of the redness in my skin, but the color that it left me with, it made me look kind of ill, like washed out. And it could just be the shade that it was, but because I didn't like the product, I'm not going to experiment with all the different shades. I applied it with the Miracle Complexion Sponge. I just don't like it. I wish I liked it, because the ingredients seem great. There were a lot of ingredients on the IT Cosmetics CC Cream that I was not excited that they were in there. Here are some of them. Dimethicone, PEG, PPG10, pentafluoropropane. It says propane in the word. So I checked it out. It's listed as not a super safe thing to put on your face. Retinol palmitate and snail secretion filtrate? The only ingredient that I 
notice, so still I'm not an expert on all these ingredients, but from what I've learned so far, there wasn't anything that was super alarming in the Physicians Formula Organic Wear CC Cream. They said it may contain iron oxides. It seems like almost every product may contain iron oxides, so I'm still trying to figure out what that is. If any of you know, please tell me.